Hi, I'm Brian Nathanson from Clarity Product Management, and today we will be covering the improvements that we have made in the staffing workspace. What's new is that the custom investment types and their allocations are now visible in the staffing workspace, and the modal message indicating no support for mixed bookings has been removed. This was removed due to customer feedback. We plan full support for mixed bookings in a future release. Currently, mixed booking edits are supported in the individual staff modules, but not on the cross-investment staffing screen. So here is, again, an example of the custom investment types in staffing. You'll see that you have the custom investment type records now appear in the allocation grid, and custom investment types now appear in the investment type filter. And so with that, we will go ahead and take a look at the custom investment types in staffing. So here is our staffing workspace. And you will notice up here at the top, as mentioned, that we have our investment type filter. And you'll see that the list is much longer than the old seven types that we used to have. There's a number of custom investment types that have been de uh, designed or detailed into this particular system. I'm looking at products which is a new custom investment type that was added as opposed to the old out-of-the-box product, no S, uh, that was the old NPIO. But both are listed here. You still have the ability to pull in those old NPIOs. That's to preserve backward compatibility for those customers who might still have been using those. But you can see here that I have my product selected, and so now I can see the, the allocation of various resources to particular products. Uh, we can also flip it around and show that there are products that have uh, particular views with resources. So if I flip this over and basically say that I want to see products on this side, then I can go ahead and see which products actually have the particular resources involved. Okay? And so we will see here that we have a number of products that have actually got resources in them. And in fact, here's clarity with some resources and their respective allocations that can be edited. Okay. The other thing to be aware of, if we actually flip back for a second, is that you can actually show multiple things at once. So if I were picking products and projects as an example, I can do that as well. And then we will get a much longer list of things back uh, because now we have all of our projects and products as well. And so here are my, here's Clarity as a product, and here are the individual release projects underneath it. Okay, so you now have the ability to do this type of allocation and information across all of the different investment types, including the custom investment types. And here's how that same view of crossing investment types looks across the various investment types here. And so now I'm looking at not only a product, but also projects that the AI team is working on. So again, this concludes the demonstration of the support for the custom investment types in the staffing workspace.